city manager, and we will be two years in about another week. And uh, when I started here, I was kind of, after the council had hired me, I was following the news uh, in Newport, and, and there was a fair amount of news. And, and I see this, uh, this issue coming up on the, uh, um, the uh, Visual Arts Center, and I thought, oh, that sounds like something I'll be involved with. <laughs> and, uh, and so anyway, when the uh, uh, council got me uh, uh, here, they said, well, we've got a few issues. You know, we've got some issues at the airport, we've got the Visual Arts Center, we've got a number of these things. But I can tell you that uh, as a city manager, working with the Visual Arts uh, Group was something that was really a rewarding uh, effort on my part. You know, when you have an organization that's that's got a lot of volunteers involved with it, a lot of volunteer groups involved with it, uh, the uh, Oregon Council uh, for the Arts uh, managing it, um, you know, there's lots of opportunities for things to get a little different once in a while, and sometimes that's okay. Um, but uh, but I think in this particular case, uh, you know, one of the things that I had the most pride about was uh, really putting together the governmental structure that uh, is now the steering committee. Uh, that, you know, I'm kind of weird, I'm a city manager, I like organizational stuff, you know, and, and it was kind of fun to pull that together, especially with the interests of so many different groups that are so uh, critically interested in the future of this, of this facility. And, uh, and so from that standpoint, I had a great privilege of working with some great volunteers, representatives from various groups that we've talked about before, uh, working with the uh, Oregon uh, Coast Council of the Arts and others to to uh, really try to get things on a, a, a proper footing. And I think that uh, when you look at what's happened to this facility uh, just in the last uh, year and a half or two years, uh, it really is amazing progress. And I think there's a sustainable structure that will help govern and guide decisions on this facility going forward. And, and I think that's due to the efforts of a lot of people in this room that, that really knew we had a problem, they wanted to make something happen, and they did. So I congratulate you on where we're at today and look forward to the ribbon cutting.